In the depths of space, billions of mysterious black holes boggle the imagination and make us wonder what they hide in their infinite darkness. They arise after the collapse of old massive stars, forming a singularity inside them that distorts space so much that even light cannot escape. But what you might not know is that almost every galaxy has a supermassive black hole at its center, which exceeds the mass of the sun by millions of times. One of these mysterious holes lies in the heart of our galaxy, Sagittarius A star, just recently, scientists took the first picture of this giant black hole and were stunned by the very strange signals emanating from it. Better hold on tight. Today, we'll try to look into the central hole of our galaxy and unravel its secrets that excite the entire scientific world. Sagittarius A star is located close to the edge of the constellation Sagittarius in the center of the galaxy, 26,000 light years from Earth. Sagittarius A star was first discovered in the 1930s when American physicist Carl Jansky recorded an unusual radio signal emanating from the center of the galaxy. It was only almost 50 years later in the 1980s that two astronomers, Bruce Balick and Robert L. Brown suggested that the source of the signals was a massive object similar to a giant black hole. Later, their guesses were confirmed. After a long search for all possible candidates, a black hole with a mass of 4.3 million solar masses remained the only possible option. Subsequently, scientists discovered that the diameter of the mysterious hole is 14.6 million miles. The size of Sagittarius A star greatly confused scientists. There are no stars that could collapse into such large black holes. However, thanks to the work of astronomers in the near future, we may learn important details of the history of Sagittarius A star's origin, all thanks to one amazing photograph. A year ago, scientists finally confirmed the existence of a massive black hole in the constellation Sagittarius by taking this breathtaking image of this very hole for the entire scientific community. Obtaining such a photo was not an easy task. A whole grid of large number of radio telescopes combined and functioned as a single telescope the size of a planet. In particular, the black hole was not static, it was constantly changing, which made it difficult to image. In the developed photograph, you can see an orange ring around Sagittarius A star that resembles a black shadow. The glowing circle is actually gas and dust, or the accretion disk at the event horizon, the point beyond which nothing can escape the black hole. All of this material is rotating at nearly the speed of light, so the gas and dust are heated to 18 billion degrees Fahrenheit and emit a bright glow and energy in the form of radio waves. The difficulty of this image is more than offset by its incredible value for studying the structure of black holes and their origin and further improving techniques for even more accurate images. Recently, Sagittarius A star has been attracting more and more attention from scientists. Black holes do not suck in all the matter around them. According to the general theory of relativity, we know that gravity is not a force in the physical sense, but instead is a curvature of space. Black holes have a huge mass, which causes all accretionary material or even nearby stars to move towards them. Then black holes accumulate gas and dust in the disk around them, and due to their collision and heating, X-rays are produced which indicate the activity of the hole. Sagittarius A star has been at rest for a very long time and has not been accumulating material. However, in June 2023, an international team of scientists led by Frederic Merritt from the University of Strasbourg discovered that Sagittarius A star awakened about 200 years ago. Scientists recorded a very intense echo of X-rays emitted by the hole. 
Then back in the 19th century, the black hole captured something very large, probably a massive star in its ring. This immediately increased the brightness of the black hole by millions of times, as if you were turning on a flashlight that shines like the sun in a dark room. The radiation also explains why galactic molecular clouds near Sagittarius A star shine brighter because they reflect these X-rays. After such powerful radiation, nearby cosmic bodies such as stars, asteroids, etc. had no chance of surviving. Because of the gigantic distance, it did not affect us. Now the black hole in the center of the Milky Way has returned to a state of rest. Strangely enough, all this lasted only one year. Therefore, the next goal of the Sagittarius A-star study will be to find out why the black hole woke up for only such a short period of time. However, in the long term, according to Frederick Merritt, this echo may tell us about the accretion cycles of supermassive black stars and how galaxies form and change under their influence. Sagittarius A star has a few more eerie secrets. Most recently, a group of led by Farhad Yusuf Zadeh noticed unusual activity in the center of the Milky Way. Many long filaments, five to ten light years long, stretching out from the very bosom of the black hole. No, these are not the tentacles of some monster, but these filaments are still of great interest to study. The strange cluster of filaments is probably an indication of the activity of the black hole itself. As early as four decades ago, the astronomer Yusef Zadeh discovered vertical filaments surrounding Sagittarius A star. However, this year, for the first time, he saw that in addition to the vertical ones, which are the majority, there are also horizontal ones. Moreover, these structures are different from each other and may have different origins. It is now known that the vertical filaments have strong magnetic fields and are located on all sides of Sagittarius A star, like a halo. Among them, there are also giant filaments, 150 light years long, that are not directed toward the black hole. In particular, they are filled with particles moving at the speed of light, emitting radio waves. Horizontal filaments are located on only one side of the black hole and glow from its thermal radiation. Astronomer Yusef Zadeh believes that they could have been formed six million years ago as a result of material leaking from Sagittarius A star and interacting with nearby objects. These strange filaments are very important for further studying the rotation of the black hole and how it gains its mass through accretion material. Although we know the mass of Sagittarius A star, how exactly this black hole reached its current weight of 4.3 million solar masses is still a mystery. However, we have a possible answer to this difficult question. Black holes usually grow due to the captured free accretion material or gas and dust formed as a result of the star being torn apart by the hole's gravity. Another way for black holes to increase in weight is through mergers. Black holes, like stars or galaxies, can merge with each other. In fact, this process is happening all the time. Although we have so far recorded only one case of two black holes, UGC 4211, coming together to form a future merger. When both holes fall into each other's conditional gravitational field, they can't escape. They begin to spiral around a common center, generating large gravitational waves and radiation emissions. Like ripples in the water, this activity of black holes stretches and compresses space, but does not have a strong or dangerous effect on matter. After a few million or even billions of years, depending on the distance of the black holes, their event horizons collide, and the stage of their merger begins, which lasts only a few seconds. The last phase of black hole mergers, ring down, releases weak gravitational waves which removes the curvature of space-time left by previous waves. 
Thus, a new massive curve black hole is formed. Sagittarius A star could have merged with several small black holes in the past, and interestingly, it could have been a rather unusual merger. According to a new study, massive black holes can grow by capturing two smaller black holes in their accretion disk. In this case, the two trapped black holes begin to merge into a single hole, with no way to escape from the smaller black hole's captivity and the massive hole. The gas and dust of the disk just slow down with the small black holes, which leaves them no chance to escape from each other's gravitational fields. In particular, during retrograde motion, such as against the direction of rotation of the massive hole, smaller black holes begin to move toward each other faster, which accelerates the merger. During the merger, black holes grab material from their immediate surroundings and form an accretion disk around the new, larger hole. According to the study, they may also have caused a violent gas release during the merger, further enriching the larger hole. The newly formed black hole, along with its disk of gas and dust, is attracted to the already more massive hole. Thus, the next merger process is launched as a result of which the massive black hole gains significant mass. Currently, there's no evidence of such processes in the vicinity of Sagittarius A star. But more detailed studies of this interesting merger method may someday shed light on the history of its origin. For example, studying accretion processes and their behavior during mergers is crucial to understanding how they affect the growth of black holes, if at all. Gravitational waves and changes in their intensity provide important information about the state of a black hole. So observing those waves that we're able to detect can describe quite fully how the merger is going and at what speed. 13.8 billion years is a long period of time for black holes to develop and accumulate mass, but is it really enough? A Sagittarius A star could develop to the black hole stage for several tens of millions of years and accumulate masses up to four million solar masses for hundreds of millions or even several billion more. However, over the same period, a black hole in the galaxy M87, six million light years away, has gained mass of five billion solar masses. According to current estimates, a black hole can grow by only 100,000 solar masses in one billion years, meaning that both galaxies should now have a mass of slightly more than 1.3 million solar masses. One might assume that they, especially M78, had much more accretion material and smaller black holes for such a colossal black hole sprawl, but astrophysicist Joseph Simon of the University of Colorado has a different assumption. After collecting data on hundreds of thousands of galaxies and calculating the masses of the central black holes for some of them, the astrophysicists concluded that black holes used to have much more mass than expected. In the past, for some unknown reason, many black holes were on average larger than galaxies, including galaxies. Another study by Dr. John Regan of the University of Dublin suggest that supermassive black holes could be the origin of supergiant stars. Such stars could have gained 250,000 times the mass of the Sun in just 200 million years after the Big Bang. Thus, after the collapse of the star, a black hole was formed that was hundreds of thousands of times larger than the Sun. However, the formation of supermassive holes would also have required a lot of gas and dust in the early universe, given the rate of material being drawn in by nascent black holes at 0.1 solar mass per year. So far, such growth rates cannot be confirmed. But with new generations of supercomputers, Dr. Regan says further research will be able to provide an accurate prediction for the past development of black holes. In addition, future observations and simulations will allow us to better understand how black hole accretion affects the formation of galaxies. Both black holes and galaxies evolve together, so their exchange of energy and mass is important to study. 
For example, gas emission or heating by Sagittarius A star could change the morphology of our galaxy by reducing or stimulating star formation. The combination of the central black holes of the Milky Way and others could also cause its elliptical shape and increase the galactic mass due to such a merger. Therefore, the study of the interaction between black holes and galaxies can play a crucial role in our understanding of the evolution of the Milky Way and other galaxies throughout the universe. Black holes are undoubtedly one of our universe's most fascinating and terrifying phenomena. Although our knowledge of these giants is quite limited, we can already recognize their key role in the development of galaxies, their influence on their shape, and the process of star formation. How exactly black holes grow to unimaginable sizes, swallowing up clumps of stars and other black holes, it's still a complex and frightening mystery for us, but one that fascinates and inspires thousands of scientists. In the future, with a new generation of technology and new solid knowledge, we'll be closer to looking deep into the history and structure of the Milky Way's central black hole, Sagittarius A star, and finally discovering what lies behind the mass of this giant.